by Fox News. The FBI and Department of Homeland Security wrote that, quote, anarchists, extremists, and Antifa groups were the primary instigators of violence at public rallies. Joining us now with a reaction is Fox News contributor Delroy Mur uh, Delroy Murdoch and Democratic pollster and Fox News contributor Doug Schoen. All right, uh, Delroy, you know, what's interesting is that for decades we've been hearing about, uh, you know, the, the alt-right, the most uh, likely to be the instigators of violence, and yet now we hear the FBI, Homeland Security, have been talking about Antifa, talking about them using weapon shields, beating uh, Molotov cocktails, fires, smashing and i haven't heard about this have you not much until recently but these people have been very active i mean you go back to the campaign of last year you had trump supporters wearing hats that said make america great again we're getting beaten over their heads uh they lit up a a, a, a limousine during inauguration and that was a blaze that happened to be owned by a muslim interestingly enough and i think this report and also the report about uh the antifa guys uh, uh, on the way to charlottesville that was given to the uh, uh virginia government this completely vindicates what Donald Trump said, that both sides blame in Charlottesville. You had neo-Nazis on one side, neo-communists on the other. It was perfectly appropriate to condemn both sides, and both sides were responsible for the violence and, and down there. Doug, doesn't DeWarren make a good point, and that is that these reports seem to actually bolster President Trump's insistence that extremists on the left bear some blame for the clashes that are occurring in our society now. Look, I, these people are not Democrats, they are extremists. I want to be clear that neo-Nazism is very different from what you call neo-communism. But that being said, these people are outside the mainstream, they are promoting and provoking violence, and I, as a mainstream Democrat, distance myself from them, well, first and foremost. Well, okay, so, you did, so the, the Antifa is not Democrat, but the alt-right is Republican. Is that fair, DeRoy? No, I don't think it is fair. I mean, I don't, uh, I've been a member of the conservative and free market movement since 1979. I have nothing in common with the so-called alt-right, the neo-Nazis, and so on. And I think it's absolutely appropriate to denounce them as the racist and violent people that they, that they are. But we also have the Antifa people out there, where people on the strong left and hard left, uh, who are out there doing things like clocking people over the heads with, with uh, bicycle locks inside of, inside of socks. And beating people, like you saw just in, in uh, Boston last week and in right. Berkeley elsewhere, beating people up, uh, knocking people over the heads with sticks. So they actually hold shields that say no hate while they're pounding people into uh, right, people's right. faces in. Uh, people walk around with blood coming out of their foreheads after they encounter these people. These are like Hitler's brown shirts in the 1920s who would attack their political opponents on the streets of Berlin until they bled. And now we're seeing it all over again on the part of Antifa and the far left. Doug, doesn't it bother you that as we see this activity, starting with, as I recall, Berkeley, and I remember I called them black ninjas uh, because nobody told me about Antifa, and you know, they're trying to burn down the building, breaking windows, beating people up, 12 hours of rioting, one person arrested only because he insisted on being arrested for his street creds. Why are the police standing down? Look, I, I think you have to talk to the police uh, in individual jurisdictions. To my way of thinking, anyone who engages in this kind of violence on the left or the right deserves to be prosecuted if they break the law. And DeRoy makes some good points. I just want to reiterate that they are not brown shirts. They are people who are outside the system. They're bad people. They're, they're not Americans. Democrats, but they're not Nazis. They're period. Americans, and you know what? They're more left than they are right. We ought to we ought to at least be honest about what the agenda oh, is. I'm that absolutely promoting. clear on that, Janine. They're more left than right, and they're completely people who I dissociate myself from. Oh, good. Let's be clear. Be I'm and the I loyal don't opposition. Be with the white supremacists, right. so there. I'm, I'm glad Doug did that. And Nancy Pelosi uh, denounced them. I think every Democrat ought to separate good. themselves right. from these people. Coming up, more Hannah.